Hi viewers, today I am going to discuss about tournament and fixtures. This is one of the most important topic for the students of physical education, physical education teachers, organizers of sports competitions and coaches. Since it is a big topic, I am going to discuss this particular topic into segments one by one. In today's segments, I am going to talk about the tournament, the types of tournaments and drawing fixture for a particular type of tournament. Okay, let me start with tournament. You have seen tournaments being played in schools, colleges, or in your uh, places or in TV you have witnessed. So what is going on there in the tournament? In tournaments, Teams are playing against each other for a day or for two days or for a week and ultimately a winner is emerged from that. Okay, Now you must understand what is the ultimate aim of the tournament. The ultimate aim of the tournament is to decide the winner in a particular sport. Okay, Now I am coming to the definition of the tournament. I will tell you four words. When you compile these four words, you will get the definition of the tournaments. Tournaments are competitions. Tournaments are tournaments are competitions which is being played between various teams, various teams in a particular sport according to a pre-prepared schedule ultimately to decide the win okay what are tournaments Tournaments are competitions played between various teams in a specific sport according to a specific schedule to decide the winner. Okay, this is the definition of the tournament. You see, we, when you compile all these points, you will get the definition of the tournament. Okay, now let me move on to the different types of tournament. Let's move on to the types of tournaments. Okay, types of tournaments. We have four major types of tournaments. They are one knockout tournaments, knockout tournaments or elimination tournaments. Once you lose in the tournament anywhere, maybe in the first round or second round or third round, wherever it may be, you will be knocked out from the tournament then and there. Okay, that is knockout tournaments. The second one is league tournaments. League tournaments are round robin tournaments. Here, even if you lose, you can you, you can have another chance because here in league tournaments each team has to play against the other team once or twice depending upon the type of league tournament okay so a team once loses need not go out they will continue to play the tournament till the completion of the league okay that is the merit of the league tournaments whereas in knockout tournament what happens once you lose the to lose anywhere in the tournament you will be out of the tournament okay the second one i told you the league tournament the third one is the combination tournament the third one is the combination tournament which is the combination of knockout and league it may be knockout come knockout or it may be knockout come league or it may be league come knockout any type of combinations we may have okay the fourth one the fourth one, the last one is a challenge tournament. 
challenge tournament okay the challenge tournament here is that each player will challenge another player and uh, uh, they will play between themselves and they will decide the winner and accordingly they will uh, uh, increase their uh, rankings or whatever it may be that is a type of tournament challenge tournaments i hope you understand uh, we will discuss everything in detail uh, but before that you have to go one by one okay uh, once again i repeat knockout tournament types of tournaments uh, there are four major types one is knockout tournament the second one is league tournament the third one is combination type the other one last one is challenge tournament i told you in knockout you lose anywhere in the tournament you will be knocked out of the tournament in league tournament you may have repeated chances to play in combination tournaments uh, maybe between the combination of knockout on league or league come knockout and so on in challenge tournaments players challenge against each other and they play uh, and uh, they they will improve the ranking okay so these are the basic uh, types of tournament today i am going to take up this nako tournament and going to discuss about drawing a fixture in a simple nako tournament okay now i am going to discuss about the nako tournaments okay i'll take nako tournament knockout tournaments itself has number of classifications for instance in knockout tournaments we have single knockout consolation consolation type 1 type 2 double double knockout and the last one is bag knock bag knock while i repeat knockout tournaments have different classifications the first one is single knockout the second type is consolation uh, type of tournaments in consolation type of tournaments we have two consolation type 1 and consolation type 2 and the third variety of knockout tournament is double knockout tournament and the last one is bagnall wild elimination tournaments okay i will take up the single knockout tournament and i will explain what is single knockout tournament what is the merit and demerits of single knockout tournament how to draw a fixture uh, in a single knockout tournament we will take single knockout tournament single knockout tournaments i told as i told you earlier in single knockout tournament if any team loses anywhere in the tournament they are eliminated then and there they have no more chance to play in the tournament that is single knockout tournament okay in single knockout tournament before drawing the fixture for this single knockout tournament we should have certain ideas in mind certain ideas in mind i think it is better to explain you before drawing the fixture i would like to tell you what are the merits and demerits of this single knockout tournaments as i told you single knockout tournaments are the tournaments in which whichever the team loses anywhere in the tournament they are knocked out okay they have no other chance it is because of this the teams play fiercely the teams will uh, show their metal uh, they will go all out to win the tournaments or win the match unless otherwise they will be eliminated so the competition will be very tight in the single knockout tournaments because of the uh, elimination fear okay that is the major advantage of this type of tournament the first advantage the second advantage of this uh, tournament is the economy of time uh, money and manpower 
since the teams are eliminated uh, one by one, we can complete the tournament within a short span of time. Uh, we can uh, complete the tournament with the minimum facilities, with the minimum uh, technical experts. Okay, that is another advantage of this tournament. There are two advantages I told you. The first advantage is that there will be a tight competition because of the elimination fear between the teams. And the second advantage is the feasibility of time, money and manpower. Okay. The disadvantage we will discuss. Disadvantage is of this, the major disadvantage of the tournament is there is a possibility of good teams being eliminated in the first round itself. For instance, unknowingly, if two good teams are placed to play in the first round, one better team will be eliminated, definitely. They may be the runners of the tournaments or may, they may be the third place holders of the tournament if they played, uh, if they complete the tournament. Unfortunately, they were placed against a good team and they lost and they were eliminated the tournament. That is the major drawback of the tournament. Okay. So, I think you understand the merits. There are different um, merits and demerits are there, but I precisely uh, mentioned those uh, two, three points. Okay. Now, let's move on to draw a fixture in a single knockout tournament. Okay, how to draw a fixture in a single knockout tournament? Okay, before that, we have to understand some points. You have to understand some points. Before drawing a fixture, how many teams are there in a tournament? Number of teams. How many number of teams are there? that you should clearly have an idea number of teams the first point the second point is how many rounds will be there in the tournament depending upon the number of teams how many number of rounds will be there in the tournament that also you should understand rounds see number of sorry number of rounds number of rounds in the tournaments third one is how many teams has to be placed in upper half and lower half how many teams need to be placed in upper and lower half? Because if you, when you draw the fixture, you are divide the teams into two halves, upper half and lower half. So, how many teams in the upper half? Teams in upper half and lower half. How many teams you are going to place in upper half and lower half? And fourth one is a very, very important point. Is there any need to give a buy? If it is so, how many buys are to be given? Okay, you have to decide number of buys. Number of buys to be given in the tournament. These four points you have to keep in mind before drawing a fixture. Okay, the first point, how many teams are there in the tournament? The second point you should know is how many rounds are to be played in the tournament? The third point is, how to divide the teams into lower and upper half and uh, the fourth point is one of the most important point that is whether you need to give by if it is so how many buys you have to give these are the points you should have uh, in your mind before drawing the fixture okay now let us move on to the uh, fixture for eight teams okay now i'll move on to drawing a fixture for eight teams in a tournament there are eight teams participating for example a volleyball tournament there are eight teams uh, participating in the tournaments how to draw a fixture for that okay now i list down uh, the teams here one two three four five six seven eight now let's move on to draw a fixture for eight teams in a single knockout tournaments in a single knockout tournaments there are eight teams are participating in a tournament. So, I have written number of teams is equal to eight. 
Okay, how many rounds will be there in the tournament? The number of rounds would be 3. How the number of rounds is 3 here? So, when the number of teams are 8, the rounds will be decided based on the 2 powers. For example, 8 is the number of teams participating in the tournaments. 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 that is equal to 2 power 3, is it not? So, this 3, uh, this power of 2, uh, 3 will decide the number of tournaments. So, in 8, 8 is equal to 2 power 3 and the, this 3 is the number of tournaments. Okay. For example, if 16 number of teams are participating in a tournament, that is, is equal to 2 power 4. I hope you understand. Then the rounds will be 4. If there are only 12 teams are participating, then comes the problem. How will you decide the number of rounds? Then this 12 should be equal to any 2 power, which is not there actually, or it should be less than uh, the next 2 power, less than the next 2 power. And uh, next 2 power, 12, the next uh, 2 power is uh, 16, is it not? The next 2 power uh, number of teams are 16, that is equal to 2 power 4. If there, there, is, there are 12 number of teams, there will be 4 rounds. If there are 16 number of teams, there will be 4 rounds. If there is 13, uh, 14 or 15 up to 16, there will be 2 power 4. Uh, uh, 4 rounds will be there. If it is 17, then the next 2 power is equal to 32, that is equal to 2 power 5. If the number of teams exceeds more than 16, then up to 32, the rounds will be 5. It goes on like this. I hope you understand. Okay. Now, how to uh, place the teams in upper half and lower half? Since there are 8 number of teams, it is an even number. Both upper half and lower half will have equal number of teams. 8 is the total number of teams. <coughs> then, in upper half, you <coughs> in upper half, you will have n by 2 that is equal to 8 by 2 is equal to 4 okay in lower half again 8 by 2 is equal to 4 in upper half there will be 4 number of teams and lower half there will be 4 number of teams if it is odd number then you have to follow another formula that i will come back in the next step okay then the next point you have to keep in mind is the number of buys number of buys. Since there are 8 number of teams, 8 teams in the tournament, you need not give buy. How is that? How it is? Once the number of teams are equal to 2 power, 2 power 2 is equal to 4, 2 power 3 is equal to 8, 2 power 4 is equal to 16, it, when it goes like this, you need not give any buy. So, if the number of teams are equal to 2 power, there is no need to give by. If the number of teams are not equal to 2 power, then you are supposed to give by. That I will deal in the next step. Okay. Now, I will move on to draw the fixture for 8 teams. Okay, as I told you, I am going to draw a fixture for 8 teams in a tournament. As I told you earlier, the number of teams are 8, number of rounds are 3. Since uh, it is an even number, 8 numbers, the upper half and lower half will have equal number of teams, 4 teams and 4 teams here in the lower half. And there is no need to give by since 8 is equal to 2 power 3. Okay. There. This is the first round. As I told you, this tournament will have three rounds okay second round and third round okay in the first round the matches will be placed like this okay one versus two three versus four five versus six seven versus eight okay then this is the second round and this is the third and the final round third and the final round okay so, in the first round, there will be four matches. Second round, there will be two matches. And in the final, there is one match, as you know that. In total, 
the number of matches will be 7 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 so in a tournament in a single knockout tournament the total number of matches will be n minus 1 there are 8 teams the total number of matches will be 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 this is the total number of matches so in any given single knockout tournament the total number of matches will be n minus 1 that is there is 8 teams n minus 1 is 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 matches so you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 matches are there. okay so we have drawn the fixture it is not complete now but uh, what you are supposed to do is in each match you are supposed to give the date of the match when on which date they are playing and time in which term they are playing are they playing in the morning or in the evening between 6 to 7 or 7 to 8 like that you have to specifically mention the time okay then court number if you have different courts in which court that uh, this first match is being played for example court number court number 1 like that okay uh, you write the date time court number and so on in uh, each match you have to write uh, specifically in the fixture you have to specifically mention the, these details so there will not be any confusion for the organizers to proceed with the tournament okay uh, this is a simple fixture for eight teams participating in a single knockout tournament where you need not uh, give any buy because 8 is uh, in the 2 powers that is 2 power 3 okay now let us move on to a tournament where there are 13 teams there are 13 teams when there are 13 teams 13 is not equal to any 2, two power then there is a problem arises between dividing the teams into upper half and lower half since it is a odd number since it is not equal to any power you are supposed to give by these two important things we have to sort out in this particular type of uh, in, uh, fixture okay now let us move on to drawing fixture for 13 teams where you are supposed to give by also please remember okay okay now let's move on to a fixture for 13 teams as i told you 13 is an odd number we must have different number of teams in upper half and lower half because it is an odd number is it not since the number of teams are 13 let us calculate the total number of matches to be played in this tournament so what is the number of matches will be played in the tournament as i told you number of matches played in the tournament is n minus 1 that is 13 minus 1 is equal to 12 the tournament will have 12 matches okay how many rounds will be there in the tournament since 13 is not equal to any two power what is the next two power the next two power is 2 power 4 that is 16 so the next two power 16 is 2 power uh, 4 that is 4 will be the number of rounds this tournament there will be four rounds since 13 is not equal to any two power the next two power is two power four okay two power n is two power four that is that's why the total number of rounds will be fours total number of rounds will be four in this tournament okay then how many teams will be in the upper half since it is a even number we should follow this particular procedure that is to decide the teams in the upper half and lower half we should have a specific formula for that for upper half you should follow this formula n plus 1 by 2 that is n plus 1 by 2 total number of teams plus 1 by 2 is equal to 13 plus 1 by 2 that is 14 by 2 is equal to 7 so in the upper half we will have n plus 1 by 2 number of teams that is 13 plus 1 by 2 that is 14 by 2 7 number of teams will be in the upper half in the lower half the formula is n minus 1 by 2 that is 13 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 
12 by 2 is equal to 6. So, there will be 6 number of teams in the lower half. So, usually when there is an odd number, the upper half will be having more number of teams than the lower half. Here you see 7 teams are there in the upper half and 6 teams will be there in the lower half. As I told you, 13 is not equal to any 2 power, there arises the need for giving by. You should give by. Without providing by, we cannot complete this fixture. So, how to find out the number of buys? To find out the number or to, to calculate the number of buys, you have to find out the next 2 power of 13. What is the next 2 power of 13? The previous 2 power of 13 is 8. 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. Okay. 13 goes beyond that. So, what is the next 2 power beyond 13? That is 2 power 4, that is 16. Okay, is it not? So, 16 is the next 2 power. So, 16 is equal to 2 power 4. Then, you take the 16. Take the 16. Okay. So, to calculate the number of buys, you subtract the next 2 power, that is 16, uh, 13 from the next 2 power. 13 you have to subtract from 16. Okay, 16 minus 13 is equal to 3. Here, the next 2 power is 16. Total number of teams we have is 13. So, you subtract 13 from 16, you will get 3. So, 3 is the number of buys you have to give in this tournament. There will be 3 teams getting buy in the first round in this tournament. So, if it is so, where should you give or where should you provide buy? And so, we have two halves, this is not upper half and lower half. There are three buys, there is also problem arises. Since there are two, three buys, which half will be having more buy and which half will be having uh, less buy? So, for that also there is a formula. How to decide the number of buys in upper half and lower half? For upper half, for, for upper half, you will have this formula to provide by for upper half providing by n b minus 1 by 2 n b minus 1 by 2 and n b is the total number of buys minus 1 divided by 2 so 3 is the total number of buys minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 by 2 is equal to 1 so 1 by will be there in the upper half so, in the lower half what happens? The formula goes this way. N B plus 1 by 2. The total number of buys are 3 plus 1 by 2. That is, is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So, 2 buys are to be provided in the lower half. You see the strange thing. In the upper half the teams will be, number of teams will be more and in the lower of the number of teams will be less but in case of providing the buy usually the lower half will be having more number of buys than the uh, upper half lower number of teams will be having more number of buys than the upper half okay Th this is a strange thing you should always keep in mind okay now let us move on with uh, these calculations to complete this uh, fixture. Okay. So, I have drawn 13 teams. We have to provide buy. Is it not? Uh, we have 3 buys here. First, we start with, usually, to start with, the lowest team should be given buy in a single knockout tournament. The first buy should be given to the lowest team. So, the second buy has to be given to the topmost team. That means the first team in the upper half. So, what is the, uh, the, what about the next buy? The next buy should be given to the first team in the lower half, first team in the lower half. So, we have no other buys. We have no other buys. Buys are over. Okay. We have three buys. First buy you provide to the lowest team. The second buy you provide to the first team of the upper half. And the remaining, the third buy, you have to give to the first team of the lower half. Okay. So, we have given three buys. 
that is over giving uh, by uh, procedure is over now now we have to draw the fixture is it not so draw the fixture for the remaining teams okay yes we have completed the first round first round of by is over and in the second round the by team will be playing winners of this team okay okay second round is over again move on to third round third round is over then the fourth round that is the final final right as i told you there will be four rounds in the tournament we have four rounds in the tournaments as we calculated there will be 12 matches in the tournament let us see if there is 12 numbers or not 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we have 12 matches okay and here we complete the fixture for 13 teams okay so these are the basic procedures we have to keep in mind to draw fixtures in a single knockout tournament again i repeat the most important thing you have to keep in mind is how many number of teams are there in a tournament how many matches to be played in a tournament how many rounds are there in a tournament how many teams in each half upper half and lower half is there necessity to give buy if it is so how to calculate the number of buys to be provided and after calculating the number of buys you have to draw the fixture while drawing the fixture providing buy or placing the buy is very very important always you have to start the first buy with the lowest team the second buy with the topmost team the third buy with the first team of the lower half and if you have another buy you are uh, you are supposed to give in the lower uh, lower team of the upper half it go and this procedure will be repeated okay in coming episodes we will continue with more number of teams we, uh, drawing fixtures for more number of teams maybe more than 16 uh, maybe 23 teams 24 teams or 28 teams and so on after that we'll move on to uh, drawing fixtures for another uh, type of tournament maybe different types of tournaments okay with this i complete this particular episode we will uh, come back uh, in the next episode with other uh, methods of drawing fixtures. Okay, thank you.